Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, Queensland on a very wet week. We have had so much rain. Flooding in some parts, but we haven't flooded where I am, thankfully. So today I'm going to be trying this resin, just resin, diamond coat. I've been sent this resin and I wanted to do a heavy, a video on, on it. But first of all, I wanted to test it out because if I didn't think that it wasn't a nice or good product, I obviously didn't want to endorse it, but I have tested it out on a couple of pieces and it is absolutely gorgeous. This, I'll link the video to these pieces that I'm going to show you that I'd done a few months ago. This was a piece that I did with the lovely um, pigments. I'm just trying to, with the, ah, I can't think, wait, 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 I'll find it. Anyway, I will link the video. I did it with the pigments and I don't know if it was because the canvas was pre-used but uh, or, or the base paint that I used, it all started to crack. But I had so many comments on the actual piece that said, still resin over it because it, those cracks and the shimmer will just be lovely and by George it is just like glass it is absolutely gorgeous so I <laughs> am so so happy with this diamond coat resin it's equal parts so not difficult to mix um, equal parts resin you must wear as you should with any resin or pigments you should wear a full respirator mask so um, when you're using these so please do so but the other thing that I did was because I wanted to test this out I got just some stickers the, the they're just butterfly stickers um, and I believe they'll sell these kind of things at Capriol Shabby Chic in the link below and I just put a couple of butterflies in under there and then when I resined over the whole lot they just they just set there beautifully so that is like glass it's got the most gorgeous gorgeous shimmer 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 it's like glass very happy with that and then I did another one I resin coated and this is like glass too another one of the pores that I did just resin coated it and it is like glass it is beautiful and I put another couple of butterflies in there too under underneath and then poured the resin over and it's covered those beautifully so yeah I will link the videos to these particular pores in the drop down box if you want to have a look at the original um, this was probably the only one it's absolutely beautiful but I look as though I've got a fingerprint I've got a print in it so I'm not sure if my husband or somebody come in here and went like this, but I've got a fingerprint. But if I give that a light rub back with some sandpaper, then just wipe it over with a bit of alcohol wipe and then resin it again, I'm absolutely sure that will just be perfect. And it's just like glass on top. It's amazing and I love it. So I wanted to just give you a quick demo because I want to resin over this vase. I poured this vase quite a while ago and I just give it a coat of gloss over it just um, a number of weeks ago. So I'm just hoping and praying because I love this so much and it's going to be a gift that I can resin over it and have it look like complete like glass on the outside. Oh, just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> Silly Jilly. Oh, anyway, <laughs> along with the uh, demo. So I'm hoping and praying that this works out really well because I love my vase. So the only thing, I've just got a bit of plastic and I'm going to just resin it down that way, I hope. So I hope that it 
yeah, I hope that it takes because it doesn't actually fit. I can't get nothing to hold it on my Turner, on my Tina Turner. So anyway, and in the coming weeks, I did get sent these to the uh, pigments. Look at these. I don't want to open them up because as I said, the um, pigments, oh, look at that, are, you know, quite dangerous if you inhale them. You'd never get them off your lungs, so. But look at that one, what's that one called? Black Magic, it's sparkly. So I'm going to be doing something with these in the coming weeks. Um, try their particular resin. The resin is obviously meant for, um, the pigment is obviously meant for resin, this resin, so it should be beautiful. So without further ado, I will just mix my equal parts. Am I in the frame even? <laughs> I will mix my equal parts uh, resin. I mean, you can measure this in the measuring cups or whatever, but I'm just gonna literally put equal parts in these two cups for what I'm gonna do. This one is the part, sort of the red one and the blue one. So it's, um, yeah, it's not an A and a B. It's just got a red band and a blue band. So I will just put them together so I've got equal parts in these particular containers. And this is my blue side, which is, I poured quite a bit more into that. Just add a little bit more. I am not sure about amounts for resin. So, um, you know, how much resin I need for a product. So it's just playing it by ear for me. So, there's the diamond coat. I will try and find the link and add it to the bottom of this video. Oh, video, I'll put it, see, I'll put that. There's a red lid and a blue lid, and I've put them on the wrong. So, put the red and blue. Oh, well, that's still not actual equal parts. I might, I might just add a little bit more because I have got another canvas there that I do want to coat if I've got enough resin left over. That one's a sticky little sucker. That is, no, not quite, little teeny weeny. This is a sticky little sucker. Okay, I am, no, oh, I've got the two sticks now. Get myself in the right mess here. I am going to pour the thinner one into the thicker one and then mix, mix and mix for about three minutes is the um, recommendation. So, I will speed this bit up for you because I'll just be mixing for three minutes. I'll put the lid back on them. So there's that. So we're on there. Yes, I'm very excited to try those in the inner pour. So we'll get mixing. Uh, what I did, which I found really helpful when I mixed the batch for those um, works that I showed you, I used my little heat one to heat it up because it sort of um, burst the air bubbles and it mixed really well because it was slightly warm. So I, do, I, don't, I don't know whether I'm supposed to do that or not supposed to do that but I just found that it worked really well for me so jolly-o jolly-o so mix 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 okay I've been mixing 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 just gently mixing it around for well over three minutes and I've decided I'm going to coat this piece first it was a piece I did a while ago, but I have somebody that loves it and I'm going to um, give it to them. 
So I'm going to coat it in resin first and then I'll do the, it was done when the same time I did this vase. So I'll do them and give them as a gift together. Um, I love this though. <laughs> so I'll do the canvas first, then I'll move over to the vase. So here we go. Pour that on. I'm gonna heat it straight away so it's easy to spread and it gets rid of the air bubbles and that fly got a fly that's hovering around here driving me crazy so there you go spread it i obviously need a lot more than this on <laughs> i'm just spreading it with the paddle pop stick but i'm sure there's better tools to spread it maybe i'll have to find out it's just that i know it would be very hard to clean any tool up of the resin after i believe so using a disposable one like this wood paddle is easy so let's keep going 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 i'm gonna give it some heat with the heat wand gets rid of the air bubbles and it does make it spread really easy lovely it is so light glass it's unbelievable and it spreads really nicely when it I've heated it up just that little bit I don't know the ins and outs of why but obviously it sort of softens it up and makes it more workable so to me that's very good for a beginner like me and obviously excellent for um an excellent product I have found through sampling it first before I showed you guys like if somebody sends me something I try it and if I really really do not like it I will not um, recommend it so I'm not sure if it could do with a little bit more up here I don't want to be stingy on it, but I don't want to be overly. So excited, it is beautiful I'm not sure maybe I should just do the sides with my fingers I'm not sure obviously with gloved fingers on gloved fingers on gloved on, gloved on your hands <laughs> gloved fingers oh my goodness so that is just sparkling because I did put a bit of glitter in there you know to give it a bit of bedazzlement that's gorgeous love it so i will hopefully i might just run my fingers around that edge of that with the gloves on obviously i'm gonna have to change my gloves in a second I think you make sure that you've got the gloves that are nitrate, nitrate is it? I suppose so they don't melt and but that's beautiful very happy with that that will dry just like glass now and uh, putting the heat wand on it just bursts any bubbles that are in there beautiful it'll come up just like the others I showed you so easy peasy and just like glass so i'll move that out the way and i'll bring in the vase the vase i'm gonna put that bit of plastic there so hopefully i don't I might get stuck to the plastic but i will try i'll just hope and pray that this works because i love this vase so I'm going to heat up my resin just a bit. I 
and I will pour it, pour it, pour it, just a bit. I'm going to use my fingers to just put the resin on it. See, really, this would work so much better if I could put it on my cup turners, but I just have not got anything that will fit in the particular hole at the top of this and hold it firm while my turner goes round. But I'm sure if I really look for something, um, I'll find something that it fits in. So it obviously would leave a lot better finish if it was on the turner, just turning. So I'm just basically stroking it down the bar, the base. Oh, don't stick. Do not stick. I don't want to put too much because it might look like water droplets, but not that that would be a bad thing. I think that would could look quite nice too. Just making sure I go all the way round with that. So there's some of that lovely resin. Now there's a fly buzzing around and if, oh, I'm not happy Jen if it comes near my, sticks on my resin, because it will as soon as it lands, there's no way it's gonna get off. So look at that. Just hoping and praying that that dries nicely. That there's nothing on the paint underneath or the coating that I previously put on it that doesn't go with it. So I need to just get my glove off. Gloves off. And I just want to heat it again. that's a beauty so I'm gonna leave you there there will be some photos of the end product but that is just beautiful um, it's already sheeny shining and there you go just resin um, I got these in Australia I'm pretty sure they can be bought worldwide I will have to double check for you but I'll put a link in the drop-down box thank you you guys for joining me and until tomorrow uh, bye for now